Hello and welcome to Kid Design's fifth video tutorial on 123D design. In this video, we'll look at modifying existing shapes that you've created um, in 123D. Now, to start off, I'll just create a simple box to show you the different things you can do to modify um, and create unique shapes. Now, if we go to the Modify button on the main top menu and click the first one, which is Press and Pull, it's similar to extrude and allows us to press and pull out different surfaces. So if we go click, press and pull, select the surface, and then drag the arrow, we can see how we can pull out uh, the different sides. Now again, we can input the exact distance. So let's say we want 10. Click enter, and it does it precisely. That's the simple uh, option of doing press and pull. Now the really interesting thing about pressing and pulling is uh, how you make holes with that. If we sketch, let's say, a circular hole on one of the sides, here, confirm that, we can turn this circle into a hole, again by using press and pull. Click on that, we either extrude it, or if we go in, you'll see it's turning red because it's uh, symbolizing that actually it's digging into the three-dimensional box. Click enter, and there we are. You can do that with any uh, shape you like. We had a line like that. We could again press if we, we can either go, we can even go all the way in to make it hollow. See, with the circle, we only went a few mil in. With this shape, we went all the way through. Okay, so let's look at some other options. If we go to modify, the second option is called tweak, and it allows us to move certain edges. Um, of a three-dimensional shape. So let's select, for example, this bottom edge here, and then we can pull the arrows in different directions and modify the shape of our box. Pull it up, down, left, right, in any direction, and click Enter to confirm. The next few options I want to show you are fillet and chamfer. They're very similar, Fillet rounds edges and chamfer basically slices off edges. So let's start with fillet. You can choose any edge you want to make rounded. It can be one or multiple edges. Let's select all four of these. And then you can either input the radius in here. Let's say we want to make it three. Or you can modify it with the arrow here. You can see what's happening here. It's making these edges that I've selected nice and round. Click Enter to confirm. Chamfer is exactly the same, except for instead of rounding them, it makes them sliced. So let's select the bottom one, the bottom ones um, for the demo, and pull the arrow in, and you can see what's happening. It's literally slicing them to create um, this kind of edge. One more really useful uh, tool I want to show you is called Shell. Now let's create a cylinder for this demo. And the last option in this modify menu is called Shell. It allows us to quickly hollow out any shape. So it, we first need to select the face that we want to hollow out and it automatically makes it into a, basically a vessel. It has a base uh, and, the, and the, the sides, which are the same thickness. And we can modify these by dragging the arrow or choosing the thickness inside here. We can also change the direction and say we want to turn it to go outside. So the diameter or the radius of your cylinder here stays the same. You're just adding on the outside. Click Enter to confirm. And there we are. So these were the different modifications you can make 
to the 3D shapes that you create. Thank you for watching and make sure to keep watching other tutorials to find out other useful information on 1-2-3D design.